Don't let the fun intro fool you. On today's episode of How to Take Your Money and Throw It Directly into the Trash, I bring you the 2007 Zizzle Pirates of the Caribbean Pinball Machine. I recently picked up this one, plus the Marvel Super Heroes Zizzle Pinball Machine, at the most recent Captain's Auction Warehouse Pinball Auction. These were labeled as new or old in stock, old stock, new in box. That's right, I have the original boxes for these units. And, you know, I opened it up, I assembled it, and sure enough, someone had taken it out of the box in the past because, guess what, the uh, adapter power cord was missing, plus several of the screws and bolts for the legs and back box. Luckily, I was able to get enough to at least get this thing assembled so I could try it out. And as you can see here, this is a mini four and a half foot tall pinball machine. It's got real mechanical parts. These things have, you know, some interesting, it's got pros and cons, right? It's got a bunch of fun toys on it, got some ramps, it's got bumpers, it's got slingshots, it's got stuff that actually, you know, kind of works. But then when you get to the bottom of the table, that's where things really fall apart. Now, luckily, I was able to source a new power cable off of eBay, plus some screws, etc. And I was able to, you know, get everything put together. This assembles just like any other commercial home pinball machine where the back box and the main body come separate. And all you do is connect some wires and screw them in together and you're done. Plug in your power supply, hit that power switch on the back of it. It'll do a quick little chime and it'll run through a quick power checkup, make sure that everything is working, all the lights are working. Then it'll uh, uh, enter a track mode. The back box doesn't light up, but it does keep your scores right here on this little mini DMD alphanumeric display. It does save the high score for, for the machine, but only the high score, and you're not able to, you know, put in your initials. So if you break the high score, which we'll do in this video, it'll save in there, but that's about it. The gameplay includes two flippers, three pop bumpers, two slingshots, two stand-up targets, one spinning target. It does have music, sound effects, speech end of ball bonus score, there is a tilt effect, and of course it does have multiple solenoids, solenoid that operates the pop bumpers, and separate solenoids for each of the flippers, three solenoids total. I mean it all sounds good on paper, right? Why weren't these things a rage? Why weren't they awesome back in 2007? Why weren't these a big hit? I mean they even had real plungers. In my opinion, after playing with this thing over the last week since I received it and unboxed it and put it together and got my replacement parts is simple. The flippers on this thing are way too weak, as well as the speakers on this thing are way too tinny and quiet, and those two features alone completely ruin this toy pinball experience. These were primarily meant for children, adults primarily didn't enjoy these, some people did, but for the most part, I think the overall feedback and impressions I've seen throughout the history of researching these are most people hate these. And I kind of have to be honest with you guys, I kind of hate it too. Let's check out some gameplay and you'll see how bad it is. You want to nudge the machine because this thing has got the largest gap between flippers I've ever seen, but uh, you also don't want to break it. This thing is very old, very fragile. Jackpot! The treasure is ours! Overall, the gameplay just feels weak. Everything just feels really weak, really slow for a toy pinball machine made in 2007. And it is nothing but losing your ball over and over and over and over again. It's a, it's, and if I hear this guy say, it's not so easy, matey, one more time, I'm probably going to walk down the street and start punching babies in the throat because it's so annoying. I really appreciated picking this up because I always wanted to experience a zizzle and see if a zizzle really has any sizzle to it, but it's all zizzle. 
no sizzle. These are toy pinball machines in 2007 that were launched that were instant failures. Now I can see why some collectors really enjoy collecting these and spending time and owning these. I myself like weird, wacky stuff, especially weird, wacky pinball, as you guys know. But I cannot condone you guys running around purchasing these unless you're interested in buying the ones that I bought because I definitely want to sell mine. I'm definitely not going to keep them, but it was fun to experience this one. And I'll have a separate video for the Marvel superheroes because that one has got a really interesting story behind the box uh, when I open the box that you guys are really going to enjoy. And I, I didn't want to make these videos too long for these old ridiculous products, but these are the Zizzle pinball machines, my dudes. Sometimes when we go on these journeys of trying to experience pinball and arcade and video game history and, you know, pick up things just for nostalgia, we want to say, hey, man, this is this was great. This was wonderful. This was a, a great time in the history of gaming. And uh, everyone should go check this out and experience it or track it down or whatnot. I can't tell you to do that. I cannot tell you to do that with these Zizzle pinball machines. But I know there are some of you out there who do appreciate and like these, but these just aren't for me. But it was fun to experience a piece of history. And, uh, you know, the table itself is pretty cute. It's just the flippers suck, uh, the slingshots suck, the music sucks, the speakers suck, the voiceover sucks. It's just not worth it, in my opinion. But let me know what you guys think about this whole mess. Make sure you guys uh, give me your feedback, thoughts below. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up on the way out. And as always, my dudes, thank you for subscribing.